Do you hate ads? I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence. It keeps this channel ad free. Hello folks, welcome to Ink Dependence. Today I have a surprise unboxing. Really, it's a haul because I already I already opened the box because I needed to. Uh, I went to the post office today and I was not really expecting anything to be in my mailbox and I didn't know there would be a fun box. So, let's see what they sent me. Um, and The fun thing is that nothing they sent me is stuff I have, which is... Like, that's actually pretty impressive. I've been in the pen game and ink game for a long time, and I didn't even chat with them. So, like, who knows? Uh, but really good. So, um, there were some inks and some pens. I have these out because, frankly, I couldn't I couldn't get everything back in the box. I, anyway, whatever. So, <laughs> the first two things are a pair of cross inks. I have used cross inks before, and I just checked my YouTube channel, and the last time I reviewed a cross ink was in 2016, uh, and that was the blue black and the violet, and the violet is one that I always recommend because the, the cross violet is actually a beautiful ink, and cross is one of those pen companies that I'm like, I don't know, like, whatever, they're not that, not that, they're not that cool, and then these inks I've used are very nice, so I'm looking forward to using this green, which I found in my records I do have a sample of, but I've never had a cross bottle before and I don't think I ever used the cross green sample uh, because I definitely never reviewed it but look at this bottle y'all it's 62 and a half mils that's two ounces and two ounces and a little bit and these bottles go for on their site $13 a pop which is I think a very good price for 60 mils 62.5 mils uh, let's see what this is actually like archival ink per ISO standards that's cool I don't expect greens to be archival What's gonna be in here? What's this lid like? Okay, I mean this is a this is a bottle like a fancy I don't know cologne bottle or something maybe. But the opening there is plenty big to get a pen nib in, and the cap is the cap is really cool. All right, I was kind of expecting like a a round cap with a like a square topper on it. I don't know. That's what some uh, nail polish brands do, like Butter London and some of those others. It seems like they have um, you know, it's it looks square, but it's actually round. Let me fight with this for a sec. Got it. It was resisting the letter of printer, but cannot resist the shaman. <laughs> so, this is the Cross Black, which I've never used and I don't have a sample of. So it'll be interesting to see what this is like. I'll do, um, I'll do some swatches uh, here at the end of the video once we kind of get into everything and see what all it all when I show you what all it is. This stuff off to the side. All right, so two inks, uh, cross green and black. Make sure those are closed before I lay them on their sides. Very nice bottles of ink. Thank you very much, Pen Heaven. And then two from Kaweco. And I got to admit, I have not used that many Kaweco inks. I've used the red, and I think I've used the green perhaps before. I, I don't know. I might, maybe the brown, I think, I've used a little bit. But they were in entirely different bottles. And I don't remember Summer Purple and Paradise Blue at all. So... Perhaps these are new. I, I just got this box in the mail, so I haven't done any research or anything. But look at these cute little bottles. Like, this little lid. They used to be in like a tiny version of the Pelican bottles, as I remember. And they were quite expensive for a while there, and then the price kind of came down. But yeah, look at that. These are like jam bottles. Really interesting. Interesting bottles. Like, there's not... It's got about a, I don't know, a quarter turn of, of, of thread there. Like, it just kind of... You know, pops on very quickly, uh, but it hasn't leaked in transit from London, so I'm guessing it's fine. These are 50 mil bottles, and they go for 12 bucks in this 50 mil, uh, 50 mil bottle, which is a very nice little glass bottle. This box was legit heavy, um, and for international mail, that has to have, has to have cost them a pretty penny. So thank you so much, there, Pen Heaven, in London. So we have two new inks for me from Kaweco. So we have Paradise Blue and Summer Purple which look like they will be very cheery. Looking forward to using those. Again, we'll swatch those in just a second here. And then there are also a couple of pens in here, which was, I mean, really surprising to me. Um, so, let's get in here. Uh, and also converters for each of these pens. The uh, Faber-Castell converter, which is a standard international, and then one of the little Kaweco um, pull-style piston converters, which uh, I've never actually used one of these. I've heard they're not great, but, you know, whatever. We'll give it a try. Uh, and so the first pen is a Kaweco, and the second one is a Faber-Castell. So, like, that makes sense. So this one is a Lilliput, it says on the box. Lilliput fountain pen Silver M. So we have a Kaweco, Kaweco sticker in there. And a little book of Kaweco stuff here. Oh, History of Kaweco. 
Interesting that they include that with their pens. Cool. We have a pen heaven, penheaven.com. All right, there is their card. It was stuck in there as well. Hope you enjoy your purchase for many years to come. Please contact our, ex contact our experts if you have any questions, big or small. Uh, there's the te telephone number and uh, support email there. Cool. All right, so I've never actually had a Lilliput. And frankly, I'm not sure I've ever actually used a Lilliput. It is a tiny little pen. Just, I mean, it's kind of the reason I've never gotten one. is because they're so small. And this aluminum one weighs... Just basically nothing. So you see have the Kaveco, uh, Kaveco logo up there on the top. And then here on the side, it says Kaveco, Lilliput Germany. And then it's a raw aluminum, which is pretty nice. The rounded ends here. This actually reminds me a lot of the uh, the spoke that we did uh, earlier, the spoke axle here on the channel. So I wonder if it'll be a little difficult to screw it on the back. But um, unscrewing this, you get the... The aluminum squeak. You won't get that if you get the uh, like the brass ones or uh, do they have a copper one? I, I know they have a brass for sure because those metals are self-lubricating is what I hear. Uh, and so they don't have that squeak. But uh, look at this tiny little pen. It's so small. So small. I mean, this is a tiny nib. Eh, it's screwed in the back pretty well. Although I did the same trick I do with the axle, which is I guide it on with my fingers. So like I hold it like this and then just sort of Got it on my fingers, and that usually works pretty well. Uh, and once it's posted, this is, I mean, still a small pen, right? Holding it here, I can run, I cannot really get to the paper. Uh, I have to like reach with my fingers to get to the paper. If I hold it further back, though, it's pretty good. I kind of hold it above the threads, and it's just long enough holding it above the threads to, to get my fingers on there. A little tiny nib. It's a medium, as it says. And on the inside, we have a cartridge. Cool, cool, cool. I'm gonna try using that converter. We'll uh, link that up with something one of these uh, times soon, so I can do a little video review of this thing. But yeah, this is um, this is gonna be a small pen for sure, and I think it's one that I'm just gonna chuck in my pocket. And that finish is definitely gonna get dinged and scuffed and scratched and that sort of thing. And I think that's kind of the beauty of a raw aluminum pen like this is it's gonna take some damage and some beats over its uh, uh, its lifetime. And each one of those is gonna be a thing that you did, right? You know, you threw it in your pocket with your keys, or you dropped it on the concrete and got got dings in it, or you. Uh, I don't know, it fell out of your pocket and you rolled over it with your car and then you put it back in your pocket because it's probably going to be okay. It might be a little flat, but whatever. All right, so Kaveco Lilliput, that's cool. And then lastly, this is a Faber-Castell, and this is actually a pen that I do have. Um, uh, I only know that because I opened it. Um, it doesn't actually say what it is on the outside. This is gift box gray, but it does come, in fact, with a pen inside that gift box. So here's the gift box, gray, as advertised. And then inside... Hmm. We have a Faber-Castell Hexo, which I'll set aside for just a sec. And then the Pen Heaven uh, card here. Everything there was held tight. This in here. It's a nice gift box. So the Hexo is a, is a fountain pen that I keep meaning to review, and I just haven't gotten around to it. But it's actually a really nice fountain pen, and they are not particularly expensive. Uh, it's got a little... Oh, it's just a little bit of adhesive from a sticker that used to be on it, I guess. Um, it's a really nice fountain pen. It's very comfortable to hold. It has a round grip, even though it has these uh, hexagonal. One, two, three. Yep. Yeah, uh, one, two, three. Yeah, hexagonal. Uh, hexagonal sides. It has Faber-Castell here in black on this dark blue, which uh, is like a dark blue matte. Feels very nice. Has a medium nib. These will take a cartridge or converter. Standard international, of course. So I'll take those. Uh, it's a pretty lightweight pen for being made of uh, aluminum. It's you know a very thin sort of body, but looks really nice. Uh, it has a good snap cap. You do want to match up the sides. Like you don't want to try to close it on with the angles in the wrong place, but it will sort of, as you can see, it'll sort of guide itself there. And then on the side, look at that. They engraved my logo. Ink Dependence. How fun is that? So, like, that's that's real cool. They must have taken this logo off of, I don't know, my website or something, I guess, because I didn't send it to them. They found this logo, and they're like, yeah, we can put that on a pen. Let's do it. And it they did, and it looks great. How fun is that? So I guess they do engraving there at, uh, at Pen Heaven. So, yeah, really nice. Very nice, clean engraving. Really looks like the, uh, like the, uh, uh, the folded nib that uh, my friend Matt did this, uh, this logo in to begin with. And uh, yeah, it looks really good, and um, I do like the Hexo. So I guess this means I'm gonna definitely have to review the Hexo soon. Uh, I have I have this in sort of a I don't know a champagne bronzy sort of color, 
but uh, blue is also uh, high on my list. So, so there you go. All right. So this has been my little haul from Pen Heaven. Uh, not not solicited and definitely not expected. It was a total surprise, and that's awesome. So let's see what these colors look like on some paper here. I'm going to start off with the uh, Kaveco Paradise Blue. Be careful uncapping it because it only has it like half turn there. Although they've been sitting on their sides, and they did fly here from London. So, I mean, it must be pretty good. That, that, that seal. All right. So there's that one. Really nice kind of cheery uh, Caribbean sort of blue. Paradisey, some might say. Look at this, uh, this summer purple. As you can see, some of this, like there's a little bit of pink around the edge there. That's interesting. Also a good looking purple. Let's do the green. Going by this right here, this green might be really light, but not really... Not sure what to expect exactly. All right, so it's a nice grassy green is what we have here. I like the stylized lion on the top of there too. It looks good. All right, lastly, cross black. Black Noir Negro is what it says on the side. And judging by that, it is an intense black. Ooh, dropped a little bit, fell off the old side of the letter opener here. Yeah, that's an intense black. This is this is a good bottle, y'all. I mean, there's no worry about this thing falling over. It's not uh, it's not going anywhere. That thing is solid. All right, let's let these uh, let's let these dry. Let me mop this up just a little bit. Fortunately, I'm using the back of a the back of a page, so I didn't just drop that all over fresh pages. Did it bleed into anywhere? Nah, it's fine. It's fine. All right, we're gonna let those dry for a minute. So hang loose. Okay, that's pretty good. These are very nice looking inks. I I like all these. Very nice springy green, a super dark black, which I have recently gotten into. A little bit of, that might be a little bit of sheen trying to develop, but not gonna be a whole lot of that, I don't think. The purple does have a little bit of a gold sheen going right through the middle there. And then the blue is a very nice sort of Caribbean-y blue, kind of like that Schaefer Coastal Blue that we looked at on the channel not too long ago. So yeah, looking cool. And also a pair of cool pens that I haven't really used. Well, this one I have used, but have fun engraving. Nobody's ever done that for me before, so that's fun. All right, uh, thanks very much for watching, and go check out Pen Heaven. They uh, were very kind to send me out this box of stuff. Uh, so there you go, penheaven.com. You'll be seeing these things on the channel in reviews uh, as we go forward. So uh, thanks very much. I'm, uh, I'm a little, I'm taken aback. I don't know what to say. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And we'll, uh, we'll see, uh, or you'll see me uh, in another video soon. Peace out.